Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Gen AI 101. In today's episode, we're going to discuss when do when should you use a, a fine-tuned large language model? When should you just use it out of the box? And when should you use uh, out of the box or fine-tuned one with RAG? So fine-tuning itself is a little cost costly. So you take a pre-trained model and then you, you first you need to have your data set, you need to clean it up, make sure that it is uh, you know, rid of any bias or anything. And then you have to use that data set and you know spend some money and engineering and you know research power into fine-tuning it properly. So fine-tuning is of course not as costly as training the LLM in the first go but it is still costly as compared to just using a LLM API or just using an open source LLM directly or even doing RG. So out of the three of them, uh, fine tuning, a fine tuned LLM and creating fine tuned LLM and creating, right? But there are specific use cases where you have to do it or where you should consider doing it. Very recently, I sat down with the CIO of a large uh, agriculture, agri company and uh, you know they they were actually creating a model uh, an ai model an ml model where uh, given a patch of land the type of soil the type of uh, you know nutrients the type of uh, bacteria etc present in the in the soil uh, as an input you could predict what kind of crop would go, grow the best in which season of the year right so if you if as an agriculture company, you have data of all of this for the last 20, 30 years, right? You can, and of course you have the resources to clean this data up. Then this is the prime example of when to do fine tuning, because if you were to do the same in either a direct use LLM or even in RAG, it will not have work. It, it will not work as well as a fine tuned LLM on this specific data, right? So if, there is some niche data in your use case that only you have or if you like that's very limited to a few companies in the world and that's not available in the uh, on the internet so easily then most probably an open source llm will not have learned on it right so it makes sense for you to use that data set to train your own or fine tune your own llm right and it's worth spending that money and time and effort to do that as well Right. I've given you two examples, one in the last uh, episode and one in this one. And, and there are many such examples uh, of you know when to fine tune. Now let's move on to either using an LLM directly or using RAG. So using an LLM directly is only useful when you have to, when you want to use it like ChatGPT, right? So you can either use ChatGPT or BARD or you know any other uh, freely available uh, you know virtual assistants on the web. Or you can even just use an open source one and start chatting with it. But it's basically very limited to use in your day-to-day -day use because it has it does not integrate with your company's database, right? So uh, the biggest use case and what I have seen after speaking to a lot of CXOs globally is that the real use case or the real unlock of efficiency in uh, efficiency in large enterprises using Gen AI will only happen when Gen AI speaks to enterprise knowledge, right? This is knowledge in documents, knowledge in ERP systems, knowledge in CRMs, etc, etc. So you have to figure out a way to merge them and just like freely available LLMs are not going to, you know, do this for you. And hence, for most enterprise use cases, RAG is the best option where you can figure out, you can do retrieval as we have discussed in the last uh, episode, last to last episode. So you can, you can do retrieval on your enterprise systems, right? And you can throw that to an LLM where that LLM can make sense of the facts that you have provided it through uh, retrieval and then create a response accordingly without using its own worldly knowledge, right? Now, depending on use case to use case, you have to choose between the RAG one and the fine tuning one again. Fine tuning is useful when you have some specific data, which the world does not have, which is not available on the internet. And, uh, you know, it, it is, it will make the LLM better in that specific use case, right? You have to do fine tuning there. And for everything else, most like, I think 80% plus of the use cases that, you know, my friends in the CIO and the CEO community share with me, they, they can be solved with RAG because 
REG is way cheaper because it it does not require you to fine tune. Fine tuning requires some you know bandwidth, some uh, you know uh, computing power and data as well. REG requires nothing. It is very easy to set up and very easy to use, and uh, it grounds or you know gives facts to the LLM and says that okay you have to remain within the facts and answer the question that you know either your sales team member is asking or your uh, operation. person is asking or anyone in your company is asking so if you most of the general purpose use cases can get solved with rg and your specific business related use cases can be solved using fine tuning and i'd be happy to discuss with any one of you one on one if you have a question on this so do hit me up on any of my social media channels uh, if you have a doubt and we can have a discussion on this as well but thank you so much for watching everybody and have a great day